Welcome. So now what we're going to get into is graphing an equation where we have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now this is the first video, and for the first video, I know for all the previous videos, if you watch them, um, what we've been talking about is looking at graphing and picking points to the left and to the right of the axis symmetry. But what you've noticed is the points to the left and to the right of the axis symmetry are exactly the same for the y coordinate. So rather than spending a lot of time duplicating those coordinates, we're just going to find from now on coordinates to either the left or the right hand side and then use the axis symmetry to plot our remaining coordinates. But for right now I'm going to do one last video where we're going to plot points to the left and to the right. So again when using now an equation in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the main important thing is finding that axis symmetry. So to find the axis of symmetry, we need to now know what our three rule, what our points are. Well, we have a equals one in this case, b equals negative four, and c equals one. The axis of symmetry, remember, is a vertical line where we have x equals opposite of b divided by two a. So opposite of b is going to be a negative opposite of negative four, right? It's opposite of b, where in this case b is negative four. So it's opposite of negative four divided by two times one. So therefore, that's four over two. So we can say the axis of symmetry equals two. So now to graph this. I'm going to go ahead and plot my graph, and I'm going to go over to 2. And I'm now going to make a dotted line, as this is now my axis of symmetry. All right. So now what we're going to do is go ahead from here, we are going to now choose our points. Now we're going to choose two points to the left and to the right. And again, remember that I said this is going to be the last video that I'm going to choose all four points. And I'm going to kind of show you why we don't always have to choose two points to the left and the right. So the main important thing, though, is we start at our axis of symmetry, which is at 2. So now we're going to pick two points to the left and two points to the right. So the point to the left, I'll choose 1 and 0. And then to the right, I'll choose 3 and 4. Now to find my x, so here's my x coordinates I chose. And I can choose any, two, any points I want on my x axis or my x coordinates, but I need to evaluate for the y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in all these points, and for every single input, for the x. So I plug in my x coordinate for all these to find my y coordinate. Well, 0 squared is 0, minus 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is going to be 1. Then I do it for the 1. All right, 1 squared is 1, so let's kind of rewrite this. So it's 1 minus 4 plus 1. Well, that's going to be negative 2. Then let's do y equals 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1. So this becomes 4 minus 8 plus 1. That's a negative 3. Now, just by knowing this, I know that I can guarantee the next two answers are going to be negative 2 and 1 because I start at my axis of symmetry. But we will just use the work again to show this. All right, so 3 squared is going to be 9 minus 12 plus 1. And guess what? Negative 2. Then I know this answer is going to be 1, but let's just show it one last time. So 4 squared minus 4 times 4 plus 1 would equal 16 minus 16 plus 1, which equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can now see that we're going to use this axis symmetry. But let's still plot all four of these points. So we have 0, comma 1. Then we have 1, comma negative 2. Then we have 3. 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 2. Or sorry, and 2, comma, negative 3. And then we have 4, comma, 1. All right? So now we're going to connect these points. And what you notice is this graph is going to continually keep on rising up, right? But it has a minimum point. And remember that minimum point is our vertex. So the vertex is the minimum point because there is no maximum because this graph is going to continue up going to infinity. And the vertex is going to be our point at, uh, negative th at 2 comma negative 3. Notice how the vertex is a point and our axis of symmetry is a line. And also notice that the axis of symmetry is the x coordinate for our vertex. Very, very important. So now we kind of come into a couple of troubles here is, well, we can figure out the y-intercept is because that's when our x value is equal to 0. So we know the y-intercept. Our y-intercept in this case is the point 0, comma 1. However, it doesn't look like we have some exact values for our x-intercepts. But we do have two values. So I'm just going to kind of 
estimate here. So our x-intercepts are going to be between 0 and 1. And you can see that my other x-intercept is between 1, 2, 3, between 3 and 4. So uh, we can say it's not exactly equal. So I'll just say you know, 0 is less than x, which is less than 1. And you could say that uh, 1, 2, 3. 3 is less than less than x, which is less than 4. All right, so this is not a very scientific way, but I'm just trying to estimate for us. We're going to learn how to find these exact values later. But for right now, I just want to know how to graph it and then just kind of either estimate or find our exact points. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph by using a full table and equation in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Thanks.